Here's an especially exciting one. Perfect for a penny dreadful. A famous professor dies twice. That's once more than usual. Twice as many sales. My name will soon be known across the nation. I should go back and ask about this. Didn't ask about this. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Unthinkable. Such a great man. We were still in mourning from the burial. He was buried yesterday in the family plot. My father was an eminent anthropologist and something of an explorer. He made his name by investigating the practices of a small village in the Congo. His colleagues at the university often sent him trinkets from abroad. This is no time to talk about the will. It is true that my father and my fiance didn't get on. But I'm confident that once he got to know her as a daughter-in-law, they would have become friends. It's so very awful. The professor died of an heart attack just days ago. Then tonight, I hear pounding at the door. I open it to find him bleeding and in pain. I try to say something and then collapse dead. Again. He kept repeating, bar queso, bar queso, over and over. What does it mean? He got that a few days ago. Inside was a statue. I thought it was a marvel. 
But he told me it was quite common. I don't know who sent it. Spider? Let's get that out of here. Emmett is definitely afraid of spiders. man and quite wealthy I only wish he had lived to bless my alliance with his son I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Well now, I didn't ask about this. The anthropological sciences have lost a great mind. He revolutionized the field. It is my fond hope that I may inherit his mantle. Which one is that? Sorry, difficult to read. I've lost my spectacles somewhere. I recently traveled to Africa in order to continue studies on the indigenous tribe Professor Bing discovered some time ago. An eminent colleague. He wrote prolifically. Probably no one will ever amass the amount of knowledge he acquired. I'm most vexed about that. A rare specimen of the sort I've been studying for years. 
It escaped a few days ago, no doubt due to that scatterbrained assistant Virginia. My thesis subject. My South American colleagues tell me that this particular arachnid is only found in the Bolivian Andes. Fascinating subject. I hoped you wouldn't find that. I'm afraid several of the faculty purchase cadavers for research purposes. It's a fact of university life. I'm sorry to hear about that. Do you know whether that change was actually made? Showed up again. Oh. First time that's happened in 35 years of grave digging. I believe I should reinterrogate a witness. I saw the sun lock the tomb myself. Body snatching? That's an insult. I'd be in the slammer quick as that if I got caught. So I sell a body or two on the side. A man's got to eat, ain't he? I broke the lock and left him on a barrel just behind his tomb. It was dark, couldn't really see. But some fella come by and cart the old professor off. It's money back there. He can likely still see the tracks. It's plain that seven guineas is a lot for a bloke like me. I'm careful with me pennies and save for a rainy day. Doing fine, girl. Slow down now. Walk on, girl. Get on. Easy, girl. Easy.
Slow down. Yes, that's mine. I misplaced a similar one, possibly at the funeral. I was so upset. The anthropological sciences have lost a great mind. He revolutionized the field. It is my fond hope that I may inherit his mantle. I required his knowledge in order to become the greatest anthropologist in the British Empire, and his beloved tribe of savages provided the method. That Professor Silas was particularly cunning and gruesome. Mr. Out Raymond will be thrilled. Will 